So for this video, I am going to be doing my acrylic nails. Um, this is probably going to take like four to five hours. If y'all want a haul of everything I have in here, let me know. So I'm not a nail tech, but I do my own nails. So whatever I do in here, like don't take my word for it because I'm not a professional or anything. I just do my nails at home. Um, but I don't really do them that often. And so for the monomer, I do use the dynamic uh, nail system, like the dynamic nail supply. Um, I got it online. This is the 8 ounce one UV light thing from Amazon. And then I have my drill. My drill, I bought it from Amazon. I think it was like $30. It's just the Melody Susie one. I can tell. Yeah. These are the ones that the Melody Susie came with. I think this is the 5 in 1 bit. Um, it's not exactly like the 5 in 1 bit, but it's similar to that. Um, so that's the one I use. These are going to be the nail tips I use. I don't remember where I bought these from because it's been over like 2 years now. Um, these are the charms I have and then I have more inside the bag. Um, this little, it's like that, you can see, to cut the nail tips. And then I have my primer. The primer I use is from Dynamic. Um, yeah, this, it works really well. And then I use the K KDS nail glue from Amazon brush it's a size 14 when i used to live at my mom's house um she would hate the smell of monomer because it's like very strong and i kind of got used to it already um but like all my other like my husband because i moved out so i'm married now we did a year and a month already together like moving out and married married life so yeah we moved out i do my nails here now and i don't have no one that's going to complain about it besides my husband but he's at work right now so when i first started doing them off i started using the dynamic as well i have um the white and then 138 which is like a pinkish and then i also have the clear i also have like all of these like little like the diamond things in different colors but they're like the sizes are mixed up so um, I'm probably gonna pay my sisters to sort them out for me because girl going one by one is not it all right um it has a little thing right here so if you want to go um in reverse it's all the way over here and then it has the middle which is like off oh wait that's the middle I turned it off and then if we want to go forward yeah and then the speed is like right here. Can control it right there. Yeah. If you're a nail tech and you're watching this and I'm doing something wrong, girl, like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Also, I know I'm supposed to be wearing a mask for all the chemicals and everything that we're using. Um, but for this video, I'm not going to be using a mask. So growing up, since I was the oldest one out of the family, I was like the child that the child that they would experiment on my parents expected a lot from me they wanted me to go to school after high school they wanted me to go to college a university they wanted me to study something like a professional job um they wanted me to get a degree um become someone successful i feel like that's every hispanic um family especially for the first generation the first newborns first child they just wanted like something better for me than than what they um had growing up and i like totally understand that like it was very heavy on me because as the first like sibling i had to be the role model for my siblings i couldn't make any mistake because then uh, like it would be like you know all that shit so i had like a lot on my plate aside from that there's like a lot of other things that i've been through that eventually i feel like i would want to have like a um, story time and sit down on here and talk about it because it's just stuff that we don't normally talk about that should be spoken about when they told me that i was kind of sad because it's like well shit like i want to do cosmetology i want to do hair i want to do makeup back then it wasn't really a thing where um 
you know how nowadays like there's lash like there's girls that have like their lash page they went to school they took a course and like a two-day course and now they're like lash techs and like i've seen those pages and they like like their progress is like crazy because it's like they went like from learning to now having their own business their own clients making their own money like shit like back then nobody would do that and everybody was judging me that i wanted to do that like because i wanted to go into cosmetology they would like look at me and they would like pues eso no es una carrera that's not professional um that's not gonna get you far in life um you know all of that so it kind of like bummed me out and i was like shit maybe they are right maybe you can't really make a living out of this i'm not gonna make it anywhere with this and i regret it so much in conclusion um i recommend and i'm telling you from someone speaking from experience if you're in a mexican household and your parents are um pressuring you to do something that you don't want like speak up because that's something that i regret um I always wanted to please my parents when I was um, living with them and growing up in the house with them. Um, I wanted to please them, obviously. Why would and just go for whatever you want to do? If you want to do, um, if you want to be a medical assistant, go for that. If you want to do dental, go for that. If you want to be an engineer, go for that. Girl, if you want to be an astronaut, go be a fucking astronaut. Um, but don't let no one hold you back um, for what you really want to do. Or don't do whatever they want you to do just to please them. Because at the end, the one that's going to be suffering and be fucked up mentally. Because I'm fucked up. I was fucked up mentally for a while. It's going to be you. Um, they're not going to be the ones working for that. Um, they're not the ones that are doing it. You are. So if you want to go do whatever you want to go do, go do it. Because life is too short to not be doing whatever you want to be doing in life and accomplish all your goals and everything you want to do you know i wanted to do more youtube videos but i'm just a very like awkward person and i will zone out and i will forget what i was even saying or what to say um and i do have like other videos that i've done on my youtube and i don't i don't even i've tried looking back at them um just to you know just to see them again and I cringe so bad, like, I'm like, five minutes in, and I'm already, I already, I take it down because I'm like, girl, like, what was I doing, like, who is she? Um, it just makes me cringe, I don't know why if that's me. <laughs> I'm gonna use the sanding bit, and what am I gonna use this for? I'm gonna remove the shine from my nails. I'm just gonna remove all the shine from it. I don't have an actual dehydrator. So what I do is I just get some 100% acetone and I get a little brush and I just put it on my nail. So now that I have this on, I'm going to use the uh, nail tip cutter. To make sure that I have the all of the nail tips the same size, I use these, um, what are they called? I use the magnets and I put them... Wait, where do which side? Oh, I put them over here, and then I just measure how much I want a um, nail tip in here, and then I just cut them. Let's see, I think that's good. Yeah, I'm gonna put all of them that way. Um, I use I I really like these magnets because that way I have all the nail tips the same size, and they're not like off or looking weird. Not me giving you guys a whole tutorial when I don't even know what I'm doing. So now that I am done um, using the sanding bit to sand these down or to blend them in, I mean. Put the primer on my nail bed just like this.
So I already finished one hand. They look like this. So I am done with the acrylic application. This is how they came out. I grabbed my skin from the side, like right here. And then I like slide in the file. And I just go like that. That way it's like straight. Okay, I'm gonna buff out the nails really quick. That's how that one looks. <laughs> Can get a good angle of this. Right, so here's like a before and then an after. Me forgetting how to act with nails now. Anywho, we're not done yet. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and put these little beads in. Uh, so we're gonna pick it up like that and then I'm gonna use the glue. finish um this is how it turned out so that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys did like these nails that i did i do have a sheen haul that i want to do so it's probably gonna be the next video um other than that thank you guys for watching and make sure you guys subscribe pretty please and yeah